So Kanye West reminds me of the Pokemon Electrode because he always manages to self-destruct. But for some people, maybe that's just in their nature. He's had a rough last couple of years to say the least, and I'm not talking about from a commercial or career standpoint because on that front he's always solid. But from a personal standpoint, he has been going through it. This man has gone through more phases in the last five years than anyone not named Antonio Brown. We have seen pervert Kanye, TMZ Kanye, MAGA Kanye, Jesus Kanye, President Kanye, Workout Kanye, and many, many more. Some would say that Kanye is a case of a tortured genius because no matter what he's going through personally, the man does not stop creating. It's really just part of who he is, and I do believe that's how you get true art, is letting it flow through you when you are feeling some sort of emotion, whether that be sadness, anger, happiness, etc. He might be one of those artists who invites chaos into his life because it helps helps him make his art. I mean, the dude literally claims to see music, so this shit must be in his DNA. I have a condition called synesthesia where I see sounds. I see them. Everything that I sonically make is a painting. Either way, Kanye has recently been going through a very public separation from the mother of his children, Kim Kardashian, who is adamant that she is absolutely done with the 44-year-old rapper. I would say this separation really started when this guy was going off his rocker in Montana in 2020, hanging out with Jeffree Star, missing birthdays, and running for president. And ever since then, for the last year, it seems like Kanye has been in the sunken place. I mean, who saw the video of him chilling with Antonio Brown, Madonna, and Floyd Mayweather. Everyone in this room is going through a midlife crisis at once. This is like if Jack Torrance was out here designing clothes and making rap music because Kanye is really on some other shit lately. And can you blame him when his ex-wife is out here running around with Pete Davidson? He better get used to it too because this is just the first of many high profile men she'll be attached to in the future. You can tell this Pete Davidson shit is driving him absolutely insane. It had him begging for Kim to come back to him publicly. But in general, she seems to be absolutely done. Like there's no saving this marriage. And like I said, even when he's going through it, Kanye cannot help but create. And so recently he was featured on the game song Easy, where he raps. God sent me from that crash. Just so I could beat Pete Davidson's ass. Who? I like that little who ad lib that they threw in there. Because I'm sure when Kim popped out with this man Pete Davidson, Kanye said who and what the fuck is going on? You know Kanye is the type of dude who is judging the future men who smash his old girl because he feels it affects his level of freshness. He acts like he's moved on to this actress Julia Fox and several other models, but you can tell that he's down bad. Now he's saying that Kim is keeping his kids from him and even refused to disclose the location of his daughter's fourth birthday party. Yo, I'm just wishing my daughter a public right. happy birthday. I wasn't allowed to know where her party was. There's nothing legal. They're saying that these are the kind of games that's being played. At the light, it's the kind of thing that right really Boulevard. has affected my health for the longest. I'm taking control of my narrative this year. I'm being the father, the best father, the yay version of a father. And I'm, I'm not finna let this happen. And I'm just putting this online because I need y'all support. I didn't call Kim, text the nannies. I got on the phone with Tristan, he, he said, he asked Chloe, won't nobody give me the address to my daughter's birthday party right now? And that's going to imprint in her mind that I wasn't there for her. So my whole schedule is all based around me being able to take my kids to school, me being there for them, making sure that I'm in their life. That's the whole point of having money. They take so many fathers just throughout America. They've been taking the fathers out of the homes purposely. So I'm speaking up. I'm using my voice to say this ain't going to keep happening. This narrative ain't not going to happen. So yeah, obviously the man ain't fucking with what's going on. And if she's truly keeping him away from his kids, that's a horrible thing to do. The good news is eventually Kanye did make it to the party, giving a shout out to Travis Scott for sending him the details. Yo, I'm so happy right now. I just came from Shy's party and I just got a shout out to Travis Scott for sending me the address and the time and making sure that I was able to spend, the, spend that birthday memory with my daughter to be there with the rest of the family and I just saw everybody uh, people have different opinions on a lot of different things that I do but with this one this is my main focus my life centers around my children and I just had a great time today thank you everybody for their support Peace. 
You know, I don't blame Kim if she doesn't want to be with him. I'm not sure how many of you have been with someone who you don't know what to expect from on a day-to-day -day basis, but it can be really draining. Even if he didn't exhibit this manic behavior, he would not be entitled to her love. But weaponizing the kids is downright evil and is a classic move for a baby mama to get back at her ex. All I have to say is don't be surprised if this is all one big business move for the former couple. I know it might sound crazy, but I wouldn't put it past either of them. Let me know what you guys think about this whole situation down below. Who's in the right? Who's in the wrong? Who's off their rocker and who's not? As always, I do want to thank you guys for watching and subscribing today. Drop in a big like. And as you guys know, there's some other crazy motherfuckers out here that need to get covered. So it's been your boy, the Tan Superman, and I'm out. Peace.